I get queasy when my cat's got a lizard tail hanging out of her tongue, so that's, that's enough for me. 80 degrees tonight, a few clouds, warm and humid, southeast wind 5 to 10, and I tell you what, uh, the chance for rain that we had earlier on, yeah, I did, no, I just don't think it's going to happen. Here we got the Rio Grande Valley, here we got now on Futurecast, and a trough off west of us. That's just basically a little trigger mechanism, and it's been doing a pretty good job. Yeah, we've had, you know, several thunderstorm bits up north of Laredo and on back into Mexico, uh, but it's all just dying away, and in the forecast, it's dying away. One o'clock in the morning, we have a little extra cloud cover. I still think we're going to mm, basically top out at partly cloudy but the opportunity for any thunderstorms in Jim Hogg or Star County or even Zapata the rest of the night, it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. So let's all just go ahead and resolve ourselves, resign ourselves to a rain-free overnight and tomorrow. Uh, looking at 81 to 83 degrees from 6 to 8 a.m., partly cloudy skies. 95 by noon, southeast wind 10 to 15, and 100 valley average by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But wait, we're not done. We're going to talk about the heat index, too. Uh, as far as Hidalgo County is concerned, you're hot and humid, of course. Southeast wind. You know, we've had this high-pressure dome over us for days, and that's why we've been pegging 102, 104 degrees in spots and at times. I mean, Brownsville, you hit 100. Harlingen, 101 today. Both breaking records for this day. Cameron County tomorrow, 97 to 100 from Brownsville to Harlingen. But I think as we get into next week, that high pressure is going to loosen its grip and we'll be allowed to top out at more seasonal temperatures, high temperatures. I'll show you. Uh, 113 to 116, that's what it's going to feel like. I promise you the heat index. Temperature and humidity together just makes your body struggle to cool down. So if you're outside working, you're definitely going to have to contend with that. And then on through the lower valley as well, 104 to 113 from Port Isabel to Harlingen and uh, all points in between. The heat risk to you is succumbing to heat-related illness from something as uh, light as uh, or startup as uh, dehydration. Of course, dehydration can get really bad and lead to really bad complications. Uh, and then on into heat stroke and the whole nine yards. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to go much further than that. But I will tell you that working outside and playing outside in this heat repeatedly uh, or hour after hour can really wear you down. We are in the major risk category there across the valley. Uh, look at check the back seat, parents. Stay hydrated. Just drink tons of water. And, of course, make sure the pets have shade and water as well. Check your EC filters, too. Uh, 86 degrees, South Padre Island, and a surf temperature of 78. That is fantastic. Seven-day forecast wraps up with, okay, maybe a weak boundary will make its way on down into the valley early next week. But for the most part, we're talking about, oh, well, basically conditions that will be uh, hot but less hot. See, we go from super hot to just hot into Tuesday.